So you've learned the basic trucker's hitch and you're ready to take things to the next level. We're gonna show you six distinct things you can do to improve your trucker's hitch, from simple tweaks to more complex modifications. Bear in mind that simplicity is an advantage in and of itself. If at any point the knot seems too complicated to remember reliably, take a step back and ensure you understand the basic trucker's hitch, because the last thing you want is a knot you can't remember when you need it most. With that said, let's get into it. Use a fixed size loop instead of a slip knot for the pulley loop. Namely, an alpine butterfly loop. This is more secure than the simple slip knot and easier to untie if you'll be pulling the line under high tension. Use a carabiner on the pulley loop. This reduces the friction as the line slides through the carabiner, meaning greater mechanical advantage and less wear and tear on your rope. Make sure you use a carabiner with adequate braking strength. You can easily snap a cheap carabiner with a trucker's hitch. Use a self-locking mechanism to retain tension. In the basic trucker's hitch, we have to pinch the line to retain the tension before we finish it off with a halter hitch, and we often lose some of this tension to slippage. By wrapping the working end around the pulley loop twice, you can mimic the action of a black wall hitch. This will lock the tension on the line as you pull it. So you'll retain any tension you put into the line as you pull. To untie it, you'll need to yank it in the opposite direction, and it should come loose. Use a marlin spike hitch when tightening. To get more purchase when pulling on the line, tie a marlin spike hitch to the working end. You can use a stick as the marlin spike or something like a metal tent stake if you have one. Make a slip knot, then slide the marlin spike into the slip knot loop and tighten, being sure not to capsize the knot. This will help you ratchet down the trucker's hitch tighter than pulling directly on the bare line. Finish with a taut line hitch. This is basically another way to lock in the tension as you tighten the line, to relieve you from needing to pinch the knot to try to capture the tension. Tie a taut line hitch close to the pulley loop. You just need to slide the taut line hitch further out as you tighten the knot. Untying the knot is now less jam prone because you just need to loosen the taut line hitch to get the trucker's hitch loose. This is potentially cleaner than the black wall hitch method from earlier, but a bit more time consuming to tie. Use an additional loop for more mechanical advantage. Let's look at the forces at play in the basic trucker's hitch. The gray pulley on the left represents the loop we formed in our rope, and the pulley on the right represents the tree. Suppose we apply a force F as tension on the working end. The tension on the rope on either side of a given pulley is equal, and the opposing force on the pulley itself is the sum of these two forces. The total force on the standing end of the line is 3F. So we have a theoretical three to one mechanical advantage on the force we put into the rope when pulling in the basic trucker's hitch. In reality, a lot of this gained force is lost via friction in the rope rubbing against the bark of the tree and against itself in the pulley loops. This highlights why using carabiners improves your mechanical advantage by lowering friction. If we add a second pulley loop, we start to gain more mechanical advantage, similar to what happens with a block and tackle when you use more pulleys. Unlike a block and tackle though, you can't just count the number of lines under tension to calculate the mechanical advantage, because some of the pulleys are attached to the rope itself. You have to analyze the forces in the system as we did earlier. 
With this configuration, the theoretical advantage is 5 to 1 if we go through the second loop and pull in the opposite direction, and 7 to 1 if we run the line through the original loop again. Here's how to set this up in practice. Create a second alpine butterfly loop on the same side of the line that the first loop is on, just beyond the object you're tying to. Leave plenty of space in between the loops so you don't run out of rope when tightening. Run the line back through the new loop for a 5 to 1 advantage, and back through the original loop again for 7 to 1. Tighten it and finish it off with a halter hitch or a taut line hitch. The 7 to 1 version can create the self-locking black wall hitch just by virtue of running the line through the first loop twice. This setup can bring us into dangerously taut territory. Here I popped open the Siberian hitch used on the other tree to secure the standing end. You can combine these six modifications in different ways to find a variation of the trucker's hitch that works best for you and your application. For instance, here's a 7 to 1 trucker's hitch using carabiners on alpine butterfly loop pulleys, finished with a taut line hitch. One drawback of these modifications is that they require the use of more cordage, with the exception of carabiner usage. So if you barely have enough rope to reach your desired tie-out point, you might have to forego one or more of these options. The other drawback is their complexity. As we mentioned, simplicity is valuable in knots, and a knot is of no use to you if you can't remember how to tie it. Sometimes the basic trucker's hitch is good enough. Check out our channel for more knot tutorials and other outdoor content. Until next time.